Hi guys, this is Bo. So there was a recent auction from Heritage um, Auction and um, it was selling the original piece for The Prince and the Pauper, the Marvel Classic Comics number 33. And in the description they had mentioned that George Perez had did the art based on a signature on the bottom of the, the UPC box. Um, and um, anyway, so the, the actual true artist was a Credit it to uh, John Romita Jr. and Tony Dezukina, and uh, but I had no idea that George worked on this cover. So uh, since I collect his work and keep a checklist, I um, I asked George, "Hey, um, I didn't know you did this cover," and he just flatly denies that he had any involvement of the cover, and in fact went on to add that he, the only time that he did uh, layouts for another artist was for Chris Marin for One Woman. And that the signature on the bottom appears to be a forgery, and which kind of blows my mind in a, in a way that then suddenly I came to the conclusion that obviously whoever owned the original piece was trying to pass it on for um, uh, more value than than the piece actually could demand, and um, uh, obviously if there was a an unknown previously unknown George Paris original art floating out there that you you know obviously could get a lot more value out of it than say an unknown artist well not to say that John Ramita junior or senior or any of those Ramitas are unknown artists but anyway what's interesting is um yeah, I don't know if Heritage knew that that they they had in fact had a forgery on their hand, and this must be a pretty common thing where, you know, Heritage obviously has to um, verify a lot of this stuff. And uh, anyway, I'm just glad that George is alive to verify that he didn't do this art. Um, but you know, what else? Um, yeah, this kind of reminds me of another thing a few years ago where um, there was another artist who was uh, trying to pass off his own art for George Perez original. And he would sell it as George Perez original. And George didn't draw any of those uh, things. But it looked so much like George's work. and uh, But he would know because he didn't draw them. <laughs> and... Um, so yeah, uh, that was kind of interesting. He used to, he George actually tried to contact eBay, and as well as many other fans and stuff, have tried to contact eBay. Uh, but it's kind of like um, uh, fruitless because I think eBay just doesn't care as long as they sell uh, product and doesn't violate some of their you know things. And so I don't know if those uh, auction were ever removed or if he was ever banned from eBay. But I know that. For a fact that there is people out there trying to sell fake George Perez art, so just just be aware of what you're buying and who is selling it and if they're reputable or not. Uh, I mean, not to say that Heritage is not rep reputable, but um, they obviously just jump to some conclusions. And I don't know if, even if the, the original seller had specifically mentioned. George's signature was on on this cover, but you know, um, well, I'm glad uh, George is still alive to to kind of defend some of this stuff. And um, and I mean, not I I, <laughs> I can only imagine if this turned out, to, um, you know, if this cover was actually was by George. Uh, let, let's say it was by George, and George confirmed that 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 it was by George. Then this piece would actually fetch in quite a bit of money because. You know, previously, um, you know, if if that cover was selling for three hundred dollars, or you know, whatever the going rate for for a cover, uh, let's say a thousand dollars again. And um, now that George's Paris name is attached to it, it could be selling for like seven thousand, eight thousand dollars easily. So you can see where where that, you know, just a uh, a forgery would kind of. Uh, it artificially inflate that that auction but anyway so there you have it the tale of the prince and the pauper uh the uh, <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh,